Hey guys, I thought I would make a video showing you how you get a full range of marks out of these big, fat, chunky pastel sticks. They might seem like a clumsy, difficult shape to work with at first, but you're about to see just how versatile they can be. First of all, you can't be too precious with the pastels. You really need to rough them up a bit before they become really useful. And it's hard because they look so pretty in their papers. But sitting pretty in their papers is no use to you if you want to use them to their full potential. So here are a range of pastels from brand new to minuscule shard. And I'm going to show you a variety of marks you can make with each piece. Starting with the full stick. So this is already useful, even though it's still got its paper on. You can make bigger marks with these edges here. And there's quite a few sharper edges around the top and the bottom. So it's already quite useful, but you're very limited if you leave your pastels looking like this. So when you start to use them, bit by bit, you'll see them wear down. You'll get some flatter edges like this. And these already make the pastel much more useful, so I can use these flat edges here. These are always useful in things like foliage for making wider, broad marks. I can also use all these very useful edges around here. And even already there's enough of a sharp edge to be able to make quite a small dot. So even though this is still a big stick in its paper, it's already more useful. But most of my pastels, as soon as I get them, they get the papers ripped off. And this one was probably used to block in some large area of sky or something. So it's created this lovely flat edge. And I love when they go like this because it makes it really nice and comfortable to hold. And you get so many sharp edges around here and the top. It's a very useful shape of pastel. And another thing, if you want to break them in half, they always break a bit easier when you get this flat edge on there. So look how cleanly that breaks. Much easier to break one like this than the full stick. So bit by bit, this turns into these softer edged pieces. And again, very useful, lots of nice flat lines. I can still make nice big marks with this too. But eventually they start to turn into these smaller pebbles. And to be honest, this is really where the pastel starts to get really useful for me. So a lot of my pastels are smaller shapes like this. And you notice the lovely curved sharp edge you get around here. Perfect for uh, curved fur, fine marks. Um, so there's a lot of variety of marks you can make with this. and. You can even still block in quite a, a large area of colour too, so you're not limited to just tiny marks. But then we get down into the real tiny shard territory, and these are really my most useful little bits of pastel. When you need to put one little highlight on an eye or on, on a wet nose, these are the bits that I go searching for, so sometimes they're a bit awkward to hold but usually I'm only looking to make one very particular highlight with it so it certainly would be a lot easier to do it with this than with this so you really need to be brave get breaking the pastels up and you'll find they're so much more useful when you do so these are all pastels that have naturally worn down the odd time I have a bit of a happy accident and I drop a pastel on the floor 
I always recommend working with a mat underneath your easel, but uh, that will at least limit the damage and not have them shatter completely. But uh, for example, I dropped this lovely red pastel and this tiny little shard came flying off it. But it was the most useful thing that could have happened because I, I needed to make a very, very fine red line. And if you can see how sharp that edge is, it's just perfect for that. So even when the terrible thing happens and you drop one, it can turn into a very happy accident. So I'm not saying to go and throw all your pastels on the tiles. Just try to not treat them like golden eggs. They are pigment in its purest form, literally pure colour from your fingertips. I've heard that a lot of you have got yourselves the unison animal set that I designed for them. And I'm actually waiting on a new box to arrive myself. So as soon as it comes, I'll do a special unboxing video and explain all the colours and why I chose them and how you can use them in your animal paintings. But hopefully this short demo will help many of you past that initial panic of getting those lovely clean pastels all dirty. The main thing is to enjoy them and go create some great paintings. Happy pasteling!